Hey guys, I'm in the greenhouse. First week of June here, and I have to do some reorganizing because things are a little out crazy. I just wanted to show you some of our starts, some of our cucumbers, uh, some of our squash, cukes, some of our pepper starts. Nice little cherry tree out there. But this plum is really in the way. Taking up space, shading everything out. We need to get this out of here. Now luckily I don't have many food crops around it, just some garlic, some thyme which won't get hurt, and then we have this endive here which is going to seed. So none of that will matter. We gotta be pretty careful here because we've got a blueberry in here. And it's got blueberries on it. I wanna get this more light because it's producing well, just not as well as it could because there's no light. So I'm gonna be taking that out. Also, some of our cucumbers are really coming up nice. And Alan's Anasazi beans now climbing up the trellis here, looking fantastic. We've got some peppers that we pruned. So they're going to be a while before the prunes grow out. And to prune a pepper plant, you just top it. And you just cut the top off and you leave one, two, three, four, five, or six leaves like I have. You cut the top off, and what happens is one, two, three, four branches grow out of these notches, and those are just starting to emerge. That increases the amount of peppers you get uh, by four times in some cases. Also, have a nice runner bean that's coming up, and we're going to put that up here on the trellis. Heirloom tomato from last year coming up on its own. These peas have gone crazy, so I'm going to take all these peas out. We'll harvest them, we'll eat what's good, we'll dry what's not. They're just blocking space. And I've planted some new lettuces in the front. We clean that out. The uh, cukes here are flowering. So we should have some cucumbers soon. Some of the turnips are gigantic that we left. There's a nice edge of one. And we've got three sections of beets that are just finishing up. We've been eating the beet greens, but we're about to harvest maybe 30, 40 pounds of beets in here. There's one section of beets. There's another whole section of beets. And another whole section of beets. Garlic is about to uh, flower. It's really approaching done. So when the scapes come out, we'll cut them off and show you. Take a look at the size of these fava beans. With a nice Kiani. You were here when we planted them. And they're looking pretty nice. Pretty big favas on there. And a lot of them. Now this is what's in the way. The cilantro is going to coriander seed. You can see the cilantro seed there, the coriander. But it's just in the way. So we're going to let this seed up a little bit more because these are pretty well developed seeds right currently. And then we'll remove this. You can even see in here we have some chamomile just coming through. All kind of biodiversity in here. We've got some snapdragons, some Gerber daisies. And we've got a giant seeding shard here. Luckyless shard. So we're going to cut these out. We also have a giant seeding kale. We don't really need the seeds from these. And they're just blocking the sun. And we could be planting stuff behind them. Look, there's a potato, there's a shard, even some medicine. Did you ever see a, pe a peanut? There's our peanuts. We got some peanuts to come up, and so we're going to be planting peanuts. We've already planted peanuts outside already. See if, what they do. But these are going to go into our greenhouse attached to our house, which is a zone 12 greenhouse, and these should do fantastic. That should be finished in the fall, and then the peanuts can finish out by January, and then we'll harvest peanuts this winter in our house. That's the plan, Stan. Got some Armenian cucumbers, which are seedless and extremely long, so that pretty stoked about that. Got a fig tree, more favas coming up here. And these gigantic Portuguese tree collards have seeded. They're a little infested. 
um, just waiting to get some seeds from them. And maybe we'll just leave the corner one in and take this one out so we can grow some stuff here. Let's see what's in there. Oh yeah, there's some seeds developing for sure. Yeah, and they're mature. Look at them. Excellent. So we have some seeds that will be harvestable and I can even see where they're at. So I can get most of this out of here quickly. There's a quick update. Things are going to change quickly in here. All this is coming out and we're going to be putting in tomatoes and peppers for the summer. Because they do best in our greenhouses. This tree will be gone. And this is what a celery looks like when it seeds. Pretty fantastic. Take a look from the back there. We got mint, parsley. It's all about the biodiversity. Also have some nice grapevines coming in here. And if they mature enough, we might have some grapes. So that's pretty exciting. And in this tiny little greenhouse, there's probably 50 species of food. Just the tip of the iceberg. Take a look at these blueberries. Be safe. We love you. Subscribe to the channel. Share this with like-minded people and get growing. Why wouldn't you? Look at these petunias that are just coming up. Fantastic. Boom. Oh.